Good morning everybody. I'm just doing a little makeup touch up. I filmed a video earlier which hopefully it's gone really well. I haven't edited it yet so who knows. It's the little Hailey Bieber Met Gala makeup look and I'm very happy with how it actually looks. Let's just hope the tutorial works out the same. I have gone back by the way to using the YSL Touche Eclat foundation. Nothing looks better on my skin than that base honestly. I always look back at whole vlogs weirdly when I'm like trying to get in the mood to vlog. Is that weird? Sure I should be watching somebody else's videos to like get in the mood. But whenever I look back at old videos I always love my skin makeup and I think it might be when I've been wearing this foundation because it is great. I'm also wearing a new lip product today. It's the NARS Air Matte Lip Colour in the shade Surrender. I always thought this was going to be super dark, so I've actually never put it on, but it is so lovely. Not too nude, not too pink, not too brown, not too dark. Just right. So today I am going to be doing some holiday prep. I am actually getting quite excited now. So we booked, if you didn't see the last video, because I'm sure I talked about it in the last video, we booked to go to Greece, and that's like a proper holiday ryan and i have never really had a proper holiday like holiday holiday together like leaving the country when we have been away before it's been for work so like for ryan's work when we first started dating we went to ibiza and that was really fun but it was still work related for him whereas for me i was kind of like along for the vibes so i still really enjoy them but we've actually never had like a proper chill holiday together so i'm really excited about this but yesterday we also got three ibiza dates throughout the summer confirmed thankfully not two weeks on the trot this time but three ibiza dates throughout the summer which we are so excited about so with that in mind i'm going to get into the loft and get out my summer things because even if i don't need them for the uk i'm going to be needing them for other places finally and then i also have some asos and zara bits to take you through so yeah that is what we're up to today i'm gonna get changed out of this dress that i'm wearing right now i was doing the hayley bieber look so i had to like really commit did the whole hair up white dress kind of vibe so i'm gonna get changed out of that and in something that's more weather appropriate for the day okay i'm changed my stuff is out of the loft i look like an egg it's all going on please excuse the egghead i actually started trying to do my hair and just realized that it needed a wash so cute little egghead bun it is i'm gonna take my jumper off because otherwise i'll be sweating the whole time I'm talking to you. So I'm going to take you through a few bits that I've bought for my little vacations, my trip. Starting off with, I've been having a real footwear dilemma. It's not something that I have a ton of in terms of like warm weather. I usually just wear my YSL sandals and my Chanel sliders on repeat, but I don't feel like they always go with everything. So I decided to get some kind of like more relaxed, more minimal sandals. These are from All Saints via ASOS. We'll see what they're like on... These ones actually have a little dent in the front. That's not good. We'll see what they're like on. I just wanted something a bit more minimal on my foot. Just in case like, I'm wearing something that doesn't need a super chunky shoe. All of my shoes are quite chunky. And the YSL sandals are very like boho -y, So sometimes it's not always the vibe. I also picked up these. Which might be a good little minimal sandal. They don't look like they'll be necessarily the most comfortable. But in terms of like being a barely their shoe. They look like they'd be pretty good. And I get a lot of wear out of them. Because they're quite minimal like I said. And the colourway is just going to go with the majority of stuff. I also picked up a black baseball cap. Because I don't want my head to get burnt. And if I am rocking this little egghead bun. My parting can sometimes get burnt. I also picked up these sandals. I'm just going to show them to you like this, but I'll try them on. I was looking for a pair of sandals that would go with my blue Reformation dress, which you will have seen in the wedding guest dress edit. Really, really want to wear it when I go away. I just don't know how many opportunities I'm going to get to wear it in the UK because the weather here is dire. So I really want to make the most of wearing it whilst I'm away. And I actually don't have any like shoes that aren't like dressy heels. Like if I was wearing it to a wedding, I would have heels to wear with it. But just in terms of like wearing it more casually, I didn't have any sandals that went with it. And I thought these would be a really good option they'd actually go with a lot of like evening style dresses that I have that are like slip dressy and could be worn on holiday just because they're like that kind of neutral champagne tone I think I get a lot of wear out of them just because of that colorway so pick those up hopefully they'll be like a good little wardrobe investment we have a lot of pieces in white this was something that I actually found that I didn't have I don't basically don't have any beach wear anymore I obviously didn't buy any during lockdown because definitely wouldn't have been needing it so when I was going through all the stuff up in the loft I was like I literally have no beach wear which actually is one of my favorite things to buy so this is quite fun for me but I've got these lovely long trousers I'm really hoping the length is okay this is why I don't have a lot of beach wear trousers because you normally can't really take them up but I thought I'd give this a try these are petite they're by Vera Moda I got them in a small so hopefully they'll be okay they feel so nice they're like that real like 
lovely crinkly texture and I thought they would look so cute with like a nice bikini I already have like a few bikinis so I don't need a ton but I picked this one up because I just thought it was so nice just like real I don't know cute it's more like for not swimming in but I just thought it was real cute vibes like crochet love that like a real lovely kind of beigey tone I thought it would look really cute yeah love that and then I also have the matching bottoms I got both in a size small fingers crossed I'll be okay bikinis generally if they're a tie waist I find fine I then have a few crinkly shirts to try with it you never know what color something's actually what kind of white something's going to turn up as so this could be a bit tricky I think they're like I think they're a good match this one's by a brand called Rhythm again on face off it's a similar like crinkly texture so I feel like they might look good together fingers crossed I got this in a size small eight small I just wanted like really relaxed vibe for holidays I found that a lot of my dresses from the summer are like very especially from previous summers where I've actually gone away and like worn beach wear they're very frilly very girly and I was like going through the loft like what is this so yeah definitely looking for more like relaxed vibes more cords I picked up this little two-piece so these are the shorts they've got pockets which I love they're like a real nice I don't know what texture this is I want to say like a cloth I don't even know what that material is like crinkly again but like a thicker crinkly material these shorts look really cute and a really good length for me actually and then there's a matching shirt which is like a little bit cropped I was not actually expecting that a little bit cropped shorter sleeve we'll see how I get on with that because I actually don't love the top now seeing it in real life but we'll see how they look on together then we have this cute little cold which is more for like summer here slash could could be worn to the airport to be honest but it's like this little cream off-white knit it's from a brand called Zulu and Zypher Zephyr? yeah but it's really lovely chunky it's like a light knit but it's like the rib to it is chunky if that makes sense but it's not like too thick for the spring summer and then it's got this matching little pair of shorts i thought this would be cute like at the airport with converse especially on like trips home where you're coming back and it's like you're leaving and it's warm but you're coming back and it's quite late and it's literally so, yeah very casual vibes for daytime and then for evening i'll probably be like glam like you've never seen it before we also have this cute little sarong situation from misguided and there's a matching little shirt situation as well very lightweight very slouchy very casual i'm i'm intrigued to see what that looks like on me actually and then was on the lookout for a black swimsuit don't know if this is going to be it but i love my black bikini and i live and breathe in it during my holidays and just any time in the summer to be honest any time the sun's out but sometimes i just want more of a swimsuit situation and i think they look really good if you're wearing them with like a pair of trousers as well and you can kind of like dress them up a little bit so i picked up this one what brand is it from i'm not even sure south beach just really simple i didn't want anything too crazy so yeah we'll see what that looks like on i'll show you it with trousers because cba to get my whole body out today and then also just got a really lovely plain black ribbed dress but in like a mini length i have lots of mini dresses but i wanted a mini one i think i'll just get a lot of wear out of it during the summer months in the uk as well like with a pair of converse would be really cute or sandals if it's a bit hotter you can throw shirts on over it just real easy simple easy to wear I've also got this little white dress it just goes kind of like up like that i don't know if i'm gonna like this to be honest sometimes i really like things that fit like this and then sometimes i think i look like i'm wearing a giant bib who knows it's got like an open back it's like a jersey fabric nothing too like snazzy but i thought it could look cute with a pair of sandals if i'm just like really hot i don't want anything like too tight but i don't want too much material i've definitely got a lot of maxi dresses and sometimes when it's too hot i'm just like i don't want anything on my legs this is too much this could be a real hit or miss situation but it's this little mini dress I don't know how mini it's gonna look on me to be honest it's like this knitted almost like crochet texture it could be good it could be awful i don't know but i thought like with a white shirt thrown over the top and a cute pair of sunnies i can style it out i've just got a good feeling about it also whilst i'm showing you things i'm going to show you a few dresses that i picked up off of house of cb this looks crazy this looks like puffy crazy legally blonde vibes but i think that it would look really cute on i mean we'll see we will see i thought this could be really nice for evenings though just with a really pair of simple little sandals or you could like glitz up a little bit if you wanted to but i think it's a really lovely color and this kind of shape tends to look cute on me so yeah give it a go 
I love House of TV dresses though, the quality, like this is so like thick, it's got boning to it, all along the upper kind of like third of the dress, nice thick straps, like the quality of these is just incredible, they are more expensive but they are beautiful. I've actually never had a brand make dresses that fit me so perfectly, so I'm excited to try that on. I also picked up this dress, which is a little bit out there, but actually now that Ryan's got quite a few shows. This could be a cute one and it's in literally my favourite colour in the whole world. It kind of goes across the top and then <laughs> you have the chest and then it goes down into like a floaty little skirt and it's got like big open sleeves. I'm really intrigued to see what this looks like on. I mean it look great on the model but we'll see how it looks on me. These could also work actually if you had some weddings as well. Maybe more if you're just going to evening receptions but I think they could be cute in the summer if you are going to like an evening thing. And finally I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. We have this dress, like a bandeau style across the top, but it has these shoulder straps that you can tie into like a bow. And it's the most beautiful like pink tone. I don't know if it'll be a bit too peach for my skin tone. It doesn't come off on camera weirdly, but in real life it's quite like a peachy light pink tone. It's quite girly for me, which is my real reservation here. Like those shoulder straps are very, very girly. Yeah, I thought it could be a lovely one for like summer garden parties, wedding guest dress vibes, that kind of thing. Just couldn't resist it whilst I was ordering a few other pieces. So we'll see what that looks like on as well. One more thing that I missed before we wrap up is this black shirt dress, which I thought would just be gorgeous. Sorry, Nala is like pitter pattering around which i thought would be gorgeous just with a really simple pair of sandals and a cute bag like oversized sunnies just keeping it really really lovely and simple that's kind of the vibe it's either really cute and simple or like a little bit of a 90s vibe that i feel like wearing at all times at the moment but yeah trying to keep it to bits like this that i know that i will re-wear over and over again okay kicking it off with the little crochet bikini top whatever you want to call it oh the sun has come out for this look that's nice i really like it the bottoms fit really well as well the tie sides so they were always going to be a pretty safe bet but yeah really happy with this really happy with the fit it did look quite big when i like took it out of the packaging but i think it like shapes me really nicely and then we have the white trousers i don't know how far i need to go back so the trousers are still a tiny bit long, but I think I can take them up. Not even wearing them as high as I could. I could wear them higher, I just think this is the most flattering point on them. But they only need taking up a little bit, and I think I could do that, so I think I'm gonna keep them. And then I'm gonna try the long shirt with this as well. I also wanna see what this looks like with the black bikini. I think it would look really nice. So this is the white shirt, very long on me, but I think, I think it's cute, faith holds. Okay, I'm just not gonna make a decision until I see the footage back but what do we think can you let me know okay this is this little duo with the black swimsuit really like the black swimsuit i think it's very i think it's very flattering like to my eye but sometimes i watch the footage back and i'm like no but to my eye it seems very flattering and i really like it it actually comes so high up on the bum so it's basically like a thong bum which i know is not going to be for everybody but in terms of top half i think it's really quite flattering and you could wear this more as a body as well if you wanted to yeah i just think it's very cute and i like the whole look i obviously have not put shoes on with this but just roll with me i think it's cute very happy with this little duo and with those two swimsuits oh my god these shorts are so cute i love them i've kept the swimsuit on because i want to see what this shirt looks like open because i just don't think because it's cropped that it's going to do me any favors if i do it up i mean we'll see but i thought just for insurance i could see what it's going to look like open what do we think i'm just not sure that a cut off sleeve at this point is ever the most flattering on me when it's trying something different as different as varying shades of beige and neutral get on me. Okay, so this is a tucked, which I think is much cuter. I really like the shorts. I think I would keep the shorts even if I didn't keep the shirt. I think it's cute when it's styled up. This would even get worn, like, if we had a little heat wave in the UK as well. I think this would be a really cute little look. So, yeah, now you've seen it kind of styled up, let me know what you think. Okay, let me know what you think of this little, like, beach cover-up look. I personally think it's a bit too faffy. You can make it look great. However, I just don't think it's gonna stay <laughs> looking this great. As I'm like moving about, walking about, it's gonna like come untucked, fall open, and then it all kind of just falls apart a little bit. I don't know, the skirt is kind of cute though. But in terms of like having the shirt tucked, I spent ages faffing with it to get it looking perfect. And I just don't think it's obviously gonna stay 
that way on holiday and in terms of practicality I just don't think I'd actually get the most wear out of it so as lovely as it is it's probably not going to get that cost per wear right down in my wardrobe so this one I might send back it's so pretty though no it's a no I'm really sad about this beach shirt it's just a bit meh I think it's too fitted across the shoulders I don't know if you can see but it's just like super well fitting on the shoulders it looks almost a bit too smart to be an item of beach where i was expecting a little bit more material a little bit more bagginess to be a bit more oversized and slouchy it's also very long like it's literally just about raising the floor as i walk and i think that's just a recipe for accidents with me personally it looks nice thrown over the swim costume but actually other than that it's really not giving me anything like when i do it up it's not giving it doesn't have enough of a collar either it just looks a bit Meh. Okay, so these are the little knitted shorts. Very cute. Let's see how the jumper looks. It's quite long, so this could be make or break for me. I didn't want anything super cropped, but just like a regular length is normally slightly better for me. To be honest, I guess the length if you want to tuck it is actually quite good for getting a decent like roll maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's very boxy. Very like wearing your boyfriend's stuff that you've shrunk in the wash kind of vibe. Honestly, I kind of love that. I don't know why, I don't know what is possessing me at the moment, but I'm really into this kind of like comfy, slouchy, really un-girly vibe. And tomorrow I'll look super girly, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's cute. And I just put my Converse on because I think it just works with the vibe. This one I loved in theory, I'm not really sure when I put it on, let me know what you think. Just not 100%. The fit is a little bit weird as well. It's super tight on my bottom half, which is, you know, fine. But then there's a lot of room around my chest, which is a little bit annoying. I think this could look really cute with like a white shirt thrown over the top, maybe like a little black hat. It could be very, very cute, but I'm just not sure. I am not sure. So yeah, let me know what you think of this one. I just wanted to throw something in there that was a little bit fun, still kind of like worked with everything else that I have that's neutral. So I could throw like a white shirt on over the top of it. When I'm home, I could do like white shirt and converse instead of sandals. These are from Chloe, by the way. So I thought it was just like a little bit fun. I love the back. I love this kind of like tie neck quarter style on the top half. I think it's very flattering. But yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, a little black bodycon dress. I think it's nice. I think. Part of my reservation with a lot of these items is simply that I actually haven't worn this little clothing and styled up an outfit like this in a very long time. And actually we've had a very, I would say long winter with very minimal like spring going on. So I feel like I've literally just jumped from winter into summer dressing and I'm a bit confused. Or at least winter, spring, transitional dressing to summer dressing. And it's a little bit weird, but yeah, I like this. I think this will have a lot of longevity in my wardrobe. It can be styled up in so many ways, so many things, dressed up, dressed down. It is a little bit big though, so I don't know whether to see if it comes back. I think it was like really low in stock in terms of sizing. I don't know whether to see if it will come back in a smaller size because it's just a little bit big around, again, around my top half. <laughs> Which is hilarious because I felt like I spent most of my life with things just being way too tight on my top half. A really nice comfortable one, I think, when you're on holiday, especially like in the evenings. You can lay different bits over it if it gets a bit chilly. And black goes with everything, so it's a pretty safe bet to be honest. Just a note to say that the white dress is horrible and very unflattering in this area. Do not buy. So excuse the tags because House of CBR are a bit mad for their tags. But I think this dress would be a really cute one for a little dinner situation i really love it i mean the bottom half is giving me my prom dress <laughs> vibes if i could find a photo i would insert a photo of my prom dress you can all love it yeah i actually love the top half the little cut out of the back i think it's really pretty and i think i would actually get quite a lot of wear out of it in the evenings if we were going like out is it a little bit too much material though and would i be hot maybe oh my god this dress is so cute i'm definitely wearing this for a dinner out 100% I mean I could probably get away wearing some cute sandals with this as well but I just think this is the perfect pair of shoes and it needs to be worn dressed up at least once I love these shoes so much I actually haven't had the chance to wear them yet but yeah love this dress did I have a slight fight getting into it yes <laughs> but it's all good the material was very very stretchy just have someone else on hand to kind of help you I found doing the clasp up at the top very necessary so I was trying to do it without and it was basically impossible. Yeah, love 
the colour of this so much. I think it's so pretty, so flattering. The structure of the dress is incredible and the way it shapes you, I just love. I honestly, House of TV has a really weird rep for just being really like, I used to think of it as being really like trashy, but the dresses fit my body so well. I honestly can't fault them. They just make me feel like fully 10 out of 10. I never feel better than when I'm wearing one of their dresses. So yeah, very happy with this one. I'm gonna be keeping it. It's just so pretty. Not to change the topic of the video completely, but I think this would make a great wedding guest dress option. Very cute, very pretty. I don't know if I'd wear this like as much as I originally hoped. Like I was kind of envisioning like summer barbecues and stuff like that. I don't know if it's a bit too girly for me in terms of that kind of setting. However, I would 100% wear this to a wedding. It's so cute, so feminine, so romantic. Like why, like why would you not? I really love it for that kind of vibe, but I don't know how much I see myself wearing this on holiday, but maybe I'll watch the footage back and be like, no, that is like dress of dreams, like I originally thought. Okay, so those are the pieces. Let me know what you think. Oh, I need to do shoes. Let's do shoes, actually. I'm not taking this off, though. I am obsessed with this little co-op set. I'm, I love it. Love it. Okay, guys, this is as much of a close-up as you're getting because I haven't had a pedi and you don't need to see that. But yeah, this is the... All Saints pair of sandals, which I really like. I feel very happy with these. They were the most expensive pair that I got from ASOS, but I really like the texture that they add to an outfit. They kind of like add texture without being really obviously like snake print, even though they are kind of a little bit, but they're also quite flattering as well. And they're kind of comfy, which I wasn't expecting because they're very flat. But yeah, I think these would go with a lot because they're more of a texture and a print rather than a color. And I can't actually imagine a color that these wouldn't work with. Okay, so these are the little, champagne sandals they're really cheap like when you look at them up close they're not the most beautifully made sandal in the world however do i think they're going to make my life my styling life when i am pairing outfits together over the summer really easy yes so i think these could be a winner the only reservation i have is anything that goes in between my toes does tend to like make my feet go a bit funny like they cramp up so we'll see how i get on with these but i do think they're going to be great for wearing with a lot of different things. But I need to try them on with a few of the dresses that I kind of had in mind and then we'll see. But just in terms of like fit and how they look, they're not, they're really not bad for a very affordable pair of sandals. They also make my feet look really brown and I'll take that because I actually have really missed wearing summer clothes that make you feel super tan. Like I've really missed wearing so much white and feeling like all bronzed and glowy so today has been a real treat because i forgot what that was like so these are a very easy very basic pair of sandals they look really good i don't think they're going to be comfy at all but to be quite honest when i am away the level of physical activity i like to do is minimal and if i were to do anything i'd either wear birkenstocks or trainers never an actual like fashion sandal so i'm not too worried about these being like hella uncomfortable i wouldn't ever plan on walking any kind of like long distance in something like this but but just in terms of like a little wander, just being out and about, like on the beach, by the pool, whatever, whatever you like to do, that doesn't involve a lot of walking. I think these could be a good option. Obviously just nothing's ever gonna be as comfortable as Birkenstocks or like your favorite trainers. So take what I say with a pinch of salt. They look really nice for the fact that they are a very affordable little pair of sandals. Okay, now we're actually done and I have a lot of mess to clear up. One thing that I am going to do, either as I'm putting them away or I might put this off and do it, right before I pack, but I want to try everything on and take photos of it. If I don't try everything on, I still like my new packing technique has been to lay everything out on the bed in outfits and take photos of everything so that when I'm away, I can just flick through the photos. I know all of the outfits that I'm wearing, everything like that. So that is what I might do this afternoon with my huge pile of clothing. Let me know what you like and don't like though, because I honestly feel like I haven't dressed for warm weather in about a million years. So. I'm just feeling a bit off my game, you know? Not even just warm weather. I think it's I haven't dressed for holidays in such a long time since March 2020. So I'm really not sure on what's where. So yeah, let me know what you think about everything.
everybody. Still looking like an egg. It's actually not in the morning anymore. I've actually spent the morning at my mum's. I need to redo my lip product because it has completely rubbed off. I look weird. Yeah, I spent the morning with my mum. I just popped in. Oh, my camera's... Sorry, I will get through a sentence. I popped in to see my mum this morning and ended up really over saying so i've been at hers for a really long time but it was really lovely because my mum's dog and nala they get along really really well and yesterday i was working and filming so much that i feel like i didn't get to dedicate time to nala so we went on a lovely walk this morning with ryan and we had coffee and then i took her to my mum's so it's basically been like nala's big day out i may even take her down the beach this evening because i just feel like I want her to have like a special day because I feel bad for working and like just not giving her all the love yesterday. So yeah, we've had a lovely morning. It's so nice today. So it's like really nice to just sit, chill. My mum's garden is really lovely to chill in. Like if you, think, if you think mine is nice, she keeps hers even tidier than I do. Actually my garden from now on, my mum's like helping with my garden. I got it through the past like two years, planted all my stuff I want to plant. And now she's kind of like taking over because it's, it's a lot. But yeah, hers is really lovely to chill in and it's like a real sun trap. So just a really lovely chilled morning. I've just come back, throwing some makeup on. I'm really pissed. I'm wearing my new Adenola set and I've already <laughs> managed to drop food on it. So this is going in the wash so that I can continue to wear this all weekend because I never want to take it off. It's so cute. I'm going to show you in full actually. Like how cute is this? It feels like real sports lesson at school kind of vibes, but I really, really like it. I'm wearing a size extra small in case anyone's wondering because basically Adenola's like active wear. I really like like leggings and sports bras and stuff like that. I like to wear in a small. I could probably do an extra small. It's very stretchy to be honest. Everyone I know has been like, you could really size down in that, but I like to wear a small, especially my sports tops. I don't like to be too tight because I have quite wide shoulders and that becomes problematic. However, all of the like lounge weary stuff I get in an extra small and it always fits really well. To be honest, it's very, very, very over oversized so you can always i think size down unless you want like a super oversized look but yeah this is what the jumper is kind of like in fit and length it really reminds me of my school uniform to be honest but in a cool color because i had navy blue and navy blue is really boring but yeah i absolutely love it so cute but that's what i've been up to so far this morning i'm now going to make myself a little granola yogurt situation because i'm a bit peckish so we're going with coconut yogurt which i'm really liking at the moment i put it in smoothies so far this week and it's been really delish like with frozen strawberries in a smoothie is delightful prep granola i'm obsessed with this granola you don't get a lot for what you pay for but it's so yummy honestly it works better if you kind of like top a smoothie bowl with it that already has oats i feel like you get more out of it but i can't resist eating quite a bit of it today because it's so good i'm really excited i think we're having like either wraps or salad and pizza night for dinner today and mm, just so in the mood for that this weather whenever the weather is like good like this i mean i'm into food normally but i get really into like eating really fresh food and it really excites me so yeah just feeling all of the like salady vibes at the moment god i need to stop saying vibes it's actually i'm annoying myself i actually have a really good vocabulary but as soon as i turn my camera on it goes out the window okay i'm gonna go for some straws oh strawberry season is back and i am so here for it delish this is looking very full i am gonna sit and eat this in the garden just continue my very leisurely friday i basically did lots of today's to-do list yesterday so really reaping the benefits today are we team crunchy or team smooth peanut butter i am team crunchy all the way up. okay i think that's everything mm. delish so i have decided because I'm clever like this, that seeing as I look like an egg anyway, and seeing as this jumper is going to have to go in the wash this evening, anyway, I'm gonna put a hair mask in, and then I'm gonna do my work, and then I'm gonna be multitasking. mask at the moment from Kerastas. It is the Blonde Absolute Seeker Extreme mask. I really like this one. I've gone through quite a few already and I probably have about one use left in this. Also, day two of wearing this. Absolutely love it. Air Matte Lip Colour by NARS in Surrender. 
is so nice. I think it's my new favorite lip color. I'm really obsessed with it. It's like the perfect nude for me in summer. So just taking a little moment before my workout this evening to get my looks or potential looks for this vacation on a rail. Anything I don't use for this trip, I'll just use for the next one, but it's just nice to get everything on a hanger and see it all together, see how it all looks. Then I can like imagine it in like vids and stuff and on Instagram. Obviously this amount of effort isn't <laughs> necessary for everyone, but this is what I like to do. So we've got like more evening looks. Here's so lots of silky bits, lots of pearly bits, guys. We have my birthday dress in black, but mini, how cute. And then we've got little tops and some old dresses. I wore this March 2020 for my last holiday. This I have had in my wardrobe for years. It's from House of CB, I absolutely adore it. So we've got like a lot of repeat items going on. This is a Topshop dress I've had since 2017. So like lots of really great bits, but then just a couple of new little tops. This dress, which you will have seen in my bar fetch haul. This little two set is one that you might recognize from last summer from Zara. It's a little black two set obsessed with it it's like a go-to for me on holidays so that's more of an essential than a look got some of the new bits and then like a set from last year i really like a blue and white color palette i'm really feeling that at the moment i think for greece it's especially lovely if not slightly cliche but i'll run with it yeah this is good progress feeling nice and organized the rest of this room is anything but organized but i'm gonna ignore that this little fringe what is what is it doing i fully intended on showing you like me and ryan making our dinner on friday and having a nice evening together and he actually came home whilst i was in the shower and started making dinner without me so nothing happened i literally got out the shower ate my dinner and just chilled on the sofa it was lovely but unfortunately was not able to vlog the dinner making process it was really yummy though but yeah it is monday i actually had a lovely chilled weekend i saw my friends we went to the garden center we took nala with us we let her pick out some toys it was all very cute very wholesome had the best time the weather was gorgeous as well so yeah just absolutely loved it we watched the kardashians last night and my favorite thing at the moment is watching ryan watch the kardashians it's so funny so that was our weekend in a little nutshell this morning i have some filming to do i have had my zara order arrive which has some holiday bits in it which i'm very excited for i'm so ready for our holiday now so yeah really looking forward to that i'm gonna like style everything up so hopefully that will be coming soon but yeah that is what i'm gonna be doing today i need to get in the wardrobe room and have like a little clear out and put some more stuff on my depop so hopefully gonna do that at some point this week but first things first Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to drop because it looks a little bit crazy. But yeah, we are done. I'm just leaving my hair like with a little bit of a swish at the ends today because I'm not really sure how I want to style my hair for the styling video. So I'm just kind of like not doing too much with it. I'm wearing my little ASOS two set today. I absolutely love it. It's going to be such a great little set for wearing in the UK as well as when I'm traveling and stuff like that. It's so nice. But I think that's going to be it from me today. I'm going to start a whole fresh new vlog this week. I've got a lot going on. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really nice week. So looking forward to bringing you along with me. Oh, and before I go, I wanted to say thank you so much for the love on the last video. It's good to be back, feeling much better. So thank you all for the love and support. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this vid and I'll see you guys again in my next one. Love you, bye.